Hey, good morning, everyone. Looking forward to a great week that God has for us. And yes, God has a great week, just like every day. God has a great day planned for us. So we're going to be looking this week um, from, from a perspective called divine intervention. Remember last Sunday's message, yesterday's message was dealing with three points of grace and how God works in people's lives. And we're going to take that a little bit um, deeper this week in looking at how God personally involves himself in the situations that we find ourselves in in life. And so we're going to look at uh, some biblical examples of that. But I'm going to give you some introductory thoughts um, pertaining to what divine intervention is. Divine intervention basically uh, is when God steps in and changes the outcome of a situation. Like, um, for instance, you find yourself in a place, a hard place, and you really need God to do something or the outcome is going to be very, very catastrophic for your life. It's when there is no other explanation than the explanation that God has done something. So when we think about divine intervention, we're thinking about not only for our lives, but we're thinking about for those that we pray for, that we are asking God to divinely intervene on the behalf of a person's health or situation, circumstance, just like we ask God to intervene in our lives. And so I'm going to take some scripture out of Isaiah chapter 63, looking at verses um, 7 through 9. And this is basically the, 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 the topic would be God's ancient mercies recalled. So um, Isaiah is giving some reflection here on how faithful God has been. I shall make mention of the loving kindness of the Lord, the praises of the Lord, according to all the Lord has granted us, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he has granted them according to his compassion, and according to the abundance of his loving kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, sons who will not deal falsely. So he became their savior. In all their affliction, he, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. And in his love and in his mercy, he redeemed them. And he lifted them and carried them all the days of old. So we think about how God stepped in to the life of the Israelite people, God's chosen people. God wants to step into the midst of our situation, and he wants to prove himself faithful, and he wants to prove himself more than able, more than capable of handling any and every situation that comes in our lives. God can never be unfaithful. We find in life there's a lot of people that become unfaithful, but God can never be unfaithful. God wants to care for you like no one else. God wants to meet your need. God wants to go before you. God wants you to know that you can rest in his peace and his sovereign will. And so my, my thought this morning in closing this, this devotion is release your life, release your situations into the hands of God. Do your part, be obedient to how the Spirit is leading your life, and then allow God to take what you have as you release it into His hands. Remember, God can't bless what you won't give Him. So if we're wanting God's intervention, if we're wanting God to react in a reactionary way to the prayers that we are praying, be, whether it be for us or someone else or, or a circumstance, we need to be obedient and we need to release the things of God into his hands or the things of ours into God's hands and trust him with it. So have an incredible day and I will be speaking to you tomorrow on uh, some further information on divine intervention. God bless.